What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Well, today I'm going to go test some fiber and sorry the video is so shaky it's because I'm on my phone. I wanted to show you guys what I actually do for a living. I don't know if you guys be interested but every time I'm creating a video I, you know, someone will message me and say I didn't know you worked but I actually worked. So anyways going to a, a location where I'm going to be splicing fiber and testing so when I get over there I'll show you guys what I got going on I just wanted to give you guys uh, show you guys what I actually do what fiber is a lot of you guys don't even know what fiber is you guys ask me what 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 is fiber you know so I'm gonna show you guys once I get in the back I'm in a, a lab they call it a lab splice lab so as soon as I get over here, I'll show you guys uh, what I got going on, what fiber is, how to splice it, and I'll show you guys actually how to splice fiber. So, kind of basic day today, and figure, you know what, the other guys are going to be going from one location to another, and I'm going to be testing what they fix. So. Hopefully you guys find this informative. If you do, please make sure you guys uh, smash that like button and that helps out the YouTube algorithm. So stay tuned, I'll be back in, in just a few minutes. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. You know how I'm always saying I'm at work on my videos and stuff like that? Well, today I'm actually at work. I wanted to show you guys what I do for a living. A lot of people say, I thought you just YouTube, thought you are retired, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so I work for uh, like phone companies, um, different phone companies. We'll leave it as that. I don't want to put any names out there because some people get crazy of don't say who you work for. Or... Anyways, all of that information that goes to your TV, your phones, your uh, computer, all the 4K, that's why they're upgrading to 5K. It's so you can get faster internet. Um, your cell phones are run through fiber. There's still some copper out there that runs the home phone lines, certain, certain things. This is fiber. So let me show you guys turn this around this is fiber so it's not this isn't just one piece of fiber that goes to your homes this is one fiber let me give a this, see how colorful it is let me get one that you guys can actually see how about a red one how about a red fiber let me show you guys this is glass so this one thing, how can I show you guys? Oh, right here, let me show you. This one thing right here, I'll put it like kind of a little black background. This one piece right here, that's fiber. And this right here is actually not the fiber. The red part is just a coating. It's like a protector, protectant, kind of, before you get to the fiber. It's going to be this red fiber. So hopefully you guys could see that. I wish I could set you up a little bit different. Let me let me see if I could set you up a little bit differently. If I had a holder, I could uh, show you guys a little bit better. But maybe like that. See this right here. Let me move all this out of the way. I'm going to I'm going to actually show you guys me splicing a fiber together okay so bear with me so this right here is the fiber so when I take these these are like wire strippers but it's a glass stripper when you take this and you strip that off that's the actual fiber 
this little clear part from here to here, that's the fiber. So then I take some alcohol, wipe it, and that cleans the fiber. See, I don't know if you guys can see that. But that's the actual fiber. Then you take this thing right here, and this has a little wheel in here, and I could show you that too. Let me show you. you. Take this little cover off. See that right there? There's a little razor wheel in there. You sure don't want to touch it. But see if I move it? That's the razor wheel right there. So what that does, it cuts the fiber in half and makes a perfect cut. And I'll show you guys right now. So I set this in here. Put that down and that holds it in there and then when you push this it cuts the fiber so now this part of the fiber is off and now it gives it a clean straight edge cut normally and I'll show you right now I'll put in the machine and this is actually the machine right here that it goes into so this is actually the fiber splicer so this up here, let me show you. See this lid right here? You lift this lid up. I'm still holding the fiber. But you lift that lid up and you set the fiber in here. Let me set it in there and I'll show you guys. So now the fiber is actually in here. This is the fiber. And see those two needles? Those are called electrodes. And that's what melts this fiber to the other side, which I'll have to put in here also. And I will put it in here on this side. See, there's different colors of fiber. So this one is gonna get on this side. And once I get it in there, I'll show you guys. Let me, uh, let me strip this side and get it in the machine. I'm gonna do the same exact thing as I did with that other side and I'll show you guys it burning in just a minute, how it fuses it together. Now I got the fiber in there. See, I got this all zoomed in. And you see how the two fibers, there's the rose side and the red side. Well, you guys probably see it as pink. The pink side and the red side. The red side's right there. The pink side's right there. We call it rose and red. So it's gonna fuse it right in there. So what I do, so now that it's in there, what I'm gonna do is I'll close this lid and the machine will adjust for it. See it? There's the, there's the fibers, okay? And then watch, it splices it together and creates one. And there you go. That's how you uh, splice fiber together. And this, see this white part? That's actually the core of the fiber. This black part out here, this is actually the, the coating on the outside of the fiber. The fiber is actually inside. You know how I was showing you the fiber? That's not the fiber, there's actually a center core. And that's how tiny that stuff is. But see that? There's your core. And this is the outer clear reflective part. That's the part that everything reflects in here and the light goes through here. A light goes through here. So water doesn't affect that or anything like that. But that's what I do. I'm a fiber splicer. I push a button. <laughs> I don't just push a button, but that's why I tell everyone I do. I just push a button. So anyways, but look at all this. These are all, this is a 288 count cable. And uh, yeah, see all the colors? And you got to learn a color code and all that. Like there's a beginning color and it stops at uh, aqua. But there's a bunch of different color codes that you have to learn. And once you learn it, each, uh, each tube only has 12 colors. Kind of like copper, but copper has a tip and a ring, which is a positive and a negative, so to speak. So anyways, but this just has 
12 fibers in each tube but I just figured I'd share that with you guys it's a, a pretty simple I mean there'll be times that it's hard but this is all glass inside here but all right guys I wanted to show you guys that okay after this uh fiber is uh, spliced where I fuse them together we go to test it and this is what actually tells us let me show you guys this is actually what tells us if the fiber is good so if I hit start and what it'll do it'll run through a 15 second you could set this seconds at any any from 5 10 15 seconds all the way up to 120 seconds so anyways uh see this line right here that's showing that it's going over 15,000 feet so these are 14,000 12,000 10,000 and you guys probably don't even need to know that but see how clean this line is that's showing that the the fiber the the light is traveling very smoothly all the way down the fiber from the main point all the way to the customer which could be your home so each one will be different like each one of these fibers this could be going 5,000 feet this other one could be going only 2,000 feet another one could be going 50 60,000 feet just depends where it's going to so as long as uh, the fiber is clean looking which is the line I noticed you see two lines but it's shooting two different wavelengths which is like uh, there's different types of signals that go out and there's more signals than just 1310 and 1550 but that's what we use anyways uh yeah so the as long as it's straight you guys are getting good video reception video or whatever you know your phone your tv 4k all that as long as it's clean for us then it's it's making it to you guys well guys hopefully you found that uh informative uh if you guys are looking to get into fiber splicing, I mean, you just got to manage your money really well, no matter how much you make, but you got to manage it. Sometimes, some companies, there's some slow times, and usually it's around October through December, January. But if you get in the right company, then uh, there's really no slow time. But hopefully you guys like this video just to kind of give you an idea of what I do for a living. It's not just YouTube. YouTube is just a hobby. I, I like doing it. I like filming. I'm not a professional YouTuber. It would be cool to be one, but as of right now, it's just like a part-time thing. Just uh, whenever I find time, that's when I do YouTube. Yeah, thanks for watching. And like I said, always explore where you live and we'll be back with more videos see you guys soon